good morning, everybody. I think Dad about to camp so he can warm up. But he shot him a turkey this morning. Opening day of the season in Georgia, we kept the streak alive. I don't even know how many years in a row we killed one open weekend of turkey season. Somebody's got to do it. Yeah, got to Anyway, fun morning. Hopefully, we're going to do it again this afternoon. Got me a camera boy now, so life is good. I can't wait. I get to shoot one over here, then go to the leaf farm to shoot one over there. Go to South Dakota, he's got a family shoot two over there. Before he can shoot anything else. <laughs> you know the deal, if I can get me one, I'm good. Yeah, he's flattening his head out. Uh -huh. bite. Shoot these bites. What kind is it? Is that backwards? <laughs> what do they call that one? A puff hat is what we call them. Right? The guys are gonna play dead. Just like popping, man. Yep. Look at it. Look like it. Yeah, like, <laughs> yep. like you did. Huh. He getting dirt all in his mouth. Red <laughs> Grab your tail and get him out the road. Man, he's got a broke tail. No, that ain't a broke tail. It's just dirt. I know him, buddy. Snake whisperer. <laughs> get over here and get out of the road so nobody to run over you. It's crazy how he plays like he's dead. We <laughs> could call that a pop. Huh. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with him. He just pretends to be dead, so stuff leaves him alone. And he's pretending pretty good. Crazy stuff. He's He's doing a pretty good job pretending because he ain't moved since he laid him down. He's serious about his life, Bob. He said, I think that big guy was going to eat him, so I'm just going to lay here and do that at any rate. I'm going to go eat breakfast. Let's yep. go eat something besides the snake. So, it's opening day of turkey season. It's cold and windy. And everybody else is headed out turkey hunting for the afternoon. But, I never had a lot of luck over here in the afternoon, so I decided that instead I'm going fishing. So they can go out there and sit in the woods and hunt some non goblin turkeys all they want to. I'm gonna go try to catch some bass. I've already, since they've been gone, put a light bar on my UTV, so it's already been a productive day. If I can catch a few fish, I got a feeling that's going to be way better than what them other yahoos are doing. They can waste their time in the turkey woods if they want to. I think it's too early. The birds ain't quite ready yet. I don't see them having much luck. Just my opinion. But they can do what they want to. I'm going fishing. morning down easing into a big antler king food plot right now and I sit for a little while see what happens there was a bunch of birds in this area this morning so maybe one of them will come back in and play the wind's blowing real bad I don't know if they can hear as good or not but get out here and sit for a little while see what happens then I won't let big Mike go hog hunting you get them pig. Maybe we'll get a turkey before then. Finally got my line untamed. 
back to fishing. Michael just texted me. They're about to pack it up in just a few minutes. So. Sounds like I ain't missing much. The boys can have all that afternoon turkey hunting they want. They ain't, they ain't gobbling. It just ain't fun to me. Sitting there hunting them like a deer. I like them to be strutting and showing out. Don't get me wrong, I do it sometimes, but it's just opening day. Oh, let's see what we got here. Oh, broke him. Oh, shoot. Broke him off. Man, that was a good bass, too. Shoot. See me, Dave. There we go. You get the stuff out of the way. There you go. You see, you see me over here, bud? In the words of our famous friend, Mr. Charles Clark, we just mally hammered one. And I'm talking, if he's got a head left on him right now, I'll be surprised because I ain't never shot a turkey hard as that one just got hit. It looked like Tiger Woods hit him with a driver. <laughs> We have been sitting here for a couple hours. Well, Michael just texted me that uh, he actually shot a gobbler. So I'm very, very happy for it. Apparently one gobbler came in all by itself. So I didn't miss anything not going with him because we've just been arguing over who was going to get to shoot him anyhow. I can go get the grill lit. I'm glad he got him one. I'm glad he got him one. But, like I say, it sounds like I didn't miss much. Cause Hold on, I got to fight with this truck motor. One gobbler ain't enough for two people to shoot no how. So, I didn't miss anything. It's Antler King food plot. And we've had hen after hen. There's a hen right there. Oh, 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 oh. more gobblers. Oh. Gosh, I'm out
As I was saying, we just madly hammered one. And while we was telling y'all that we shot one, a hen popped out. And I looked behind there, and there was five more gobblers coming here and jumped on my turkey I just shot and this decoy. And I thought I was going to have to shoot another one just so we could get out, of, get out of here. But I think that was a group of two-year-olds. There ain't no doubt I could have tagged out in Georgia today, just now. But I didn't want to, and I wanted my friends to have some turkeys to hunt. And I said, no, we've got at least five gobblers left on here. <laughs> Don't be greedy. Let your friends shoot turkeys too, and you'll keep your friends for life. And I told Kevin, if I told him, I said, do you want to go with me and Big Mike this afternoon? I sit on the buck hole here on this food plot, Antler King food plot. I said, and we can try to double up. And Dad said he was going to video. And he told me that before he told Kevin that. <laughs> and Kevin went fishing instead. And we could have no doubt singled and doubled or tripled, quadrupled. There was a time I was looking at my gun. I could have killed two in one shot, piece of cake. You could have killed five in one shot. Killed. Looks to me like. I don't know. My pad are pretty tight right there. <laughs> well, I ain't stopped shaking for about 10 minutes right now. One, because it's cold, and two, the adrenaline dump is unreal. It never gets old. Something about a turkey coming in, strutting to the decoy, just makes your heart beat a little faster. I might go fishing tomorrow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That was unreal. We've been managing this property since our third turkey season. We've been trying to make the habitat better, get a good bird population. Looks like it's working pretty good. We've shot very few gobblers off this off our property. All for that reason right there. We can have gobblers <laughs> if, you, if you let them go. Whew. All right. I think one second walk. I'm going to look at this turkey. He looks like a pretty good gobbler. Me and my camera boy here. Now I got him moving again. Got to hold them knees up. Uh, we shot us one right here. And then we have five more come in. Put on a show. What we've got here is a dead gobbler. He come right to these decoys, put on a show, strutted around. Oh, and he got dealt with. He got pretty good hooks on him. Look at that. <laughs> I ain't got one over there. I got a, nothing. Look at that. That's a good one though. <laughs> gonna be an inch and a quarter I bet and then he got a good little rope on him what 10 inches something like that mm. Mm. that thing got rocked right there though didn't it <laughs> look at it look at it he got rope and if we shot him then five more gobblers come in here and jumped on him I guess I'm gonna say this might be an old turkey right there <laughs> yeah, he's got some battle wounds. Uh, I think he's gonna weigh 19.2 at least. Look out, man. I think so. That's a big bird, Dad. You can feel that. I bird. that bird's gonna weigh 20 pounds. Uh, he, he's heavy. I believe he's gonna go. He ain't got a great beard on him. But it don't matter. He got one spur. <laughs> he's a one pointer. He had one pointer. Well, that joker come in here and put on a show. That was fun. And then it got crazy after that. Old retake. My retake shotgun. It's called Retay, but we're from the south. I had my tactic cam going. That old Jeff's truck right there. About 20 yards. Feathers is about 20 yards that way. <laughs> Oh, I smoked him. Mmm. Mmm. Looked like a pillow exploded out here, didn't it? 
All right, well, told Kevin to come with me, but he didn't do it. I'm sorry, buddy. I, I had to. I hope he caught him a bass. I hope he caught him a bass. You know, them bass in that pond, they can't get away. That's right. They'll be there all the time. turkeys can get away. All right, we're going to go get the cart. We're going to load up our stuff. We're going to take some pictures and might fry some turkey. Good job, cameraman. Two for two on today. We could have been like <laughs> seven for seven. <laughs> Opening day for Georgia. It's going to be a tough one to beat, but we're going to try. <laughs>